Hello, welcome to the second on the whistle of this pre-season period. Arsenal, another win over another Sydney side. 3-1 this time against the Western Sydney Warriors. Um, a completely different eleven, as anticipated. Alexandre Lacazette did indeed make his first Arsenal start. Playing in, I guess, the Alexis Sanchez position. Slightly withdrawn inside forward from the left-hand side predominantly. Um, I'm sure people will read plenty into that. I don't think they ought to. I think that when the competitive season starts, we can expect to see a Lacazette used primarily through the middle. At the moment, Arsene Wenger's juggling a relatively small tour squad and just trying to make sure everybody gets minutes. Telling, though, that Arsenal have now played two games. Both games have been with the three at the back system. He's not switched to a back four at any point, really, even though it's meant playing some players out of position. Clearly, the plan is to continue with that formation and really bed that in in this pre-season period. Um, what else was intriguing about the starting lineup? I guess that Olivier Giroud played. You know, been lots of speculation about him, but he was in the team nevertheless. Uh, interesting to see as well Ainsley Maitland-Niles playing at left wing back. Uh, I think he's got real potential in that position. It's a funny one because he started his career as a winger or a wide midfielder. He's moved inside to become a holding midfield player. But now the shift in system could suit him going back out to the flanks, playing in those wide roles. He's got all the attributes, he's got the stamina, got the pace, got the close control. Maybe he'll be better off on the right than the left. There were a few occasions where he went to the byline, had to use his wrong foot, and it didn't work out too well for him. Uh, what to say? I mean, the first half I found a better watch than the uh, second half. I mean, we scored all our goals in it for a start. The first was Olivier Giroud, classic Giroud goal, really. Nacho Monreal. He came out the back, played a 1-2 with Lacazette, who was showing really that he's a decent all-round footballer, not just a goal scorer. Uh, and Monreal's tuck back was met by Giroud at the near post. Lovely clip finish into the top of the net. He's so good in those near post situations. 2-0 Aaron Ramsey, another assist for Monreal. Brilliant ball, long ball through the heart of the defence. Had a lovely spin on it. And Ramsey, who was making plenty of runs for all his time on the pitch, got onto it and a left foot lobbed finish over the goalkeeper. Monreal... Create the first two goals. I have to say, every time I see him play in that back three, I really like him. He's aggressive. He's great on the ball. I think he would be in my back three. I think he'd be one of my definites. He and Koscielny. And then I think that third spot is up for grabs. Uh, the third goal came from Mohamed Alneni. A deflected shot from the edge of the box. Intriguingly, he started as a centre-half. It's a position he's kind of filled for Egypt before. Maybe more as a sweeper, people were telling me. But... When Arsenal are going to have a lot of the ball, they can probably afford a guy who's principally a ball player in that back three. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we see more of that next season in Cup games or Europa League games where we expect to dominate Canon El Nenny or, I don't know, maybe even a Xhaka play as that third centre-half because there is an opportunity to not really have to do that much defensively, not have to compete too much physically, but just be... Someone who can bring the ball out and instigate moves from deep. And actually, in this game, it was quite congested in the centre park, centre of the park. Shaka didn't see too much of the ball, but because El Nenny was there behind him, it didn't matter so much. So, an interesting strategic point there. Um, Lacazette playing deeper. Look, uh, I think it's an option, and I think the fact that he can do it shows he is a rounded footballer. I think. Uh, I don't think though that he is some kind of Alexis Sanchez replacement directly in that way. Um, Alex Awobi played in those two behind the, the main striker. Predominantly from the right, interesting because we've seen him a lot on the left, we've seen him a lot in the centre, not so much on the right, but he looks comfortable there. And it's a big season for him, particularly if Arsenal sign Thomas Lamar, because um, those two seem to be in kind of direct competition, but maybe I'll save my thoughts on that in full for another day. Second half... We tired, predictably, and then made a bunch of changes. Emi Martinez came on. He was involved in the goal for Western Sydney Wanderers. Aaron Ramsey's back pass. I mean, I don't know why Aaron Ramsey didn't clear it. I don't know why Emi Martinez didn't clear it. He picked it up. An indirect free kick uh, blocked on the line by Montreal, but then the rebound stuck away by Lustica. So, 3-1 it finished. I mean, Arsenal, to be honest, hit the woodwork three times in the second half. El Nenny again from range. This time a brilliant curling shot. Um, Eddie and Ketia hit the post. Meza Ozil free kick hit the post. The most fun thing about the second half was watching Meza Ozil against Western Sydney Warriors, who had become ragged 
he was just on another plane, really, and he was able to pick people out at will. And I think had Nketiah been a bit sharper, he might have had a couple of goals. But he did well. He did well. He played kind of as an advanced left wing back, I want to say. And he's a number nine. And for a pure number nine, his technical proficiency and his ability to drop back and link play was impressive. So I think he's an exciting talent. Uh, Joe Willock, I thought, did well again when he came on. So all in all, the Australian leg, in terms of fixtures, is complete now. Arsenal head on to China soon enough. Their next game comes in midweek against Bayern Munich. Uh, I know it's a friendly, but you, you can't blame any Arsenal fan for wanting a bit of revenge there. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Do subscribe. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.